Today I am going to be working on a sweater that I bought the fabric for and the pattern for in February. And I'm kind of surprised that I let it go this long. If you'd like to buy the pattern, you can find it on the Chalk and Notch website. It is the page hoodie. I am doing it in a size 4 or 6. I'm kind of in between on sizes, so we shall see how it turns out. I have my favorite fit of sweater, hoodie, uh, pullover, bunny hug, depends where you live I guess. This is an Under Armour sweater that I got about five years ago, almost, I want to say. Still fits, but um, it kind of gets that sort of stinky polyester synthetic smell every now and again. So I'm going to be using this sweater. It's a little bit of a tighter fit as kind of a, a barometer, sort of, or a, uh, a meter stick, if you will, to see if I'm making the right size. It says to make a test sweater first. I'm not doing that because muslin is woven and this is a knit, so it's not really a similar type of fabric. Also, I just kind of want to get going with this. This is the ribbing that I'm going to be using for the cuffs, I believe. This is the jersey, kind of like a little bit purpley. Not quite, but a little purpley. And then this is a cotton terry, I believe. Cotton French terry. Um, these three selections were purchased from Blackbird Fabrics. Here I am cutting out my pattern pieces. I started out with the rib fabric that will be made for the hembands and the cuffs. I'm having trouble articulating yet again. I always have this with my voiceovers that I just struggle. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here using my cutting mat, my blade, and my ruler. This is the jersey. It looks a little bit more purple in person. I know, at least on my screen right now, it looks really blue. It is blue, but it, it's more purple than blue. And I'm just cutting out the lining for that. Here I am measuring my pattern pieces, the bodices, against my sweater and cutting it out of the main fabric, which is the terry, and I added a bunch of length here. And this is just a sleeve that I'm cutting out. It looks really big. I bought the needles that I need so I can sew this sweater. My machine is fixed. I know I started this project at the beginning of July. It is now the beginning of August. A lot of stuff has happened since then, but uh, I am happy to report that I did not skip any stitches. So, the needles I'm using are Schmetz Professional Grade Chrome. I'm using a 9014 stretch needle. I'm only skipping stitches on this fabric. So that's something I have to keep in mind. I don't know why on this one specifically. Probably because these ones are finer. Um, I did skip a few stitches on this, so just probably slow down a little bit. But this is fine. I set a timer on my phone for 45 minutes so that I can just sew and then take a break. Because if I sew all morning and I don't take a break, I'm probably not going to finish it. I'm going to be using my overlock for a few portions of this. Both of the machines are singers. Any of the information you need to know will be in the description, and I think that's about it. Here I am pinning and sewing my sleeves to the front bodice piece using a stretch stitch, which for me looks like a slight zigzag because I sew with a sewing machine that was built in the 1960s. If I don't say that in every video that I sew with it, I fear that people will not find me chaotic and unique. I don't know. I have so much extra footage. Anyway, here I'm overlocking it. And uh, here we go. This is what it looks like right now. Party in the front. Party in the back. Ooh. But like, you know, it doesn't look too bad, right? I think it'll fit. I think it's good. The length for the sleeves, um, pretty good. Like it. Just have to attach the back now. Um, not really even. Not really even. Um, wondering if it's just how I'm wearing it right now. So the end of this meets right over top of the top of the top of these, whatever they are. Sweatpants? Yes. Um, and then the back goes a little bit farther which is okay. 
Uh, I'm not really sure how this is going to factor in when I add a waistband, um, but the sleeves are good. I don't have to add anything to the sleeves. They are long enough. I feel very, um, like maybe the 13th Disciple, sort of. That's the look. Maybe a quick 360. Um, I like it. I like the drape. I like the feel. Uh, gonna be really big sleeves. Should, should fit, should fit. Um, I'm just thinking about this. That'll, that'll work. It's wide enough, so that's good. Just the length uh, in terms of torso. Perhaps, perhaps not. It's kind of like a bib almost. See that? I'm having way too much fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so like that actually worked out. I'm wondering, like, I'm wondering how I messed it up so bad that I thought it didn't work. Maybe I'm about to find out. My biggest question has got to be, what if it doesn't fit? You know? Okay, now that I've got the sleeves out like this, I think they're a little short. I guess we'll find out. Just sewing my sleeves together and hoping that it's actually the right size. Just to think, it's such a simple change like that. And even though I knew it was a sim simple change like that, I still get really surprised. Because sometimes I think I can break all the rules when I'm sewing. But no, I can't, just most of them. As the cicada's playing in the background, here I sew my bodice and sleeves together on the other side, just as before. This is what it looks like before I add my trimmings and before I overlock the inside. She looks smart, right? Pretty good. And um, by some miracle, the top and bottom are the same. So, you know, it was nothing really to freak out about. Okay, so usually I don't wear such a big shirt. Hey, how did I lose all that length? <laughs> Where did it all go? Maybe this is the back. And this is the front. I don't know. Suddenly this shirt is very tight. And I thought I went up like two sizes too much. So I fixed it, I think. But again, I still feel like I'm supposed to be in some kind of church choir. This is not long enough. I, there's no way I lost that much length. And it's even more on this side. I don't, I don't get it. It doesn't even look like it's supposed to be a sweater. Like, how did this get so fitted? I don't mind, like, the fit. I think it's comfy. Like, did I still put it on backwards? Is this the back? And that's the front? I, I made a fabulous looking shirt, but it's not a sweater. And do I need a hem band anymore? Because it comes all the way down here. It comes my whole butt. I wasn't trying to make a bodycon dress, but here I am doing exactly that. I don't know why it doesn't fit. I made this two sizes larger than I needed it to be. I, t I don't know, man. I don't know. Instead of picking out the stitches and trying to fix it, I took it to the overlock and overlocked it. It looks really good though, so at least there's that. Here I am sewing my hood, both the lining pieces and the exterior pieces. Again, with a zigzag stretch stitch. Ooh. And I am pinning them together. I press a lot of the seams. I don't really mention that, um, but I press them. I follow the directions pretty well, sewing here. And then I did an understitch. If you don't know how to understitch, there's probably a really good video on it. Um, but it makes it look so much better than if you just top stitched it. So here's the try on. Love the hood. Favorite part of the whole sweater was the hood. Uh, up until this point at least. Had a little bit of fun with it. And here's what understitching looks like. It looks so crisp. And then I'm top stitching. My sleeves were still quite large, so I had to figure out a way to fix it. I did two parallel basting stitches and gathered 
pulling them out to gather. And instead of using the ribbing for the sleeve cuffs, because I found that the ribbing wasn't, it just didn't work, I used uh, a little bit of fabric that I had trimmed off to make the sleeves even, folded that over, made that into the cuffs. So, and then I sewed it, there we go, I sewed it with a stretch stitch, and then I pulled out the basting stitches, and I did that on both of the sleeves. And I really liked the result. I really did. Yep. Yeah? Okay. So this is the pirate shirt, which is not the pirate shirt, but this is how it turned out. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I think in the future I'll probably use a different pattern. Um, I love the hood though. Like it a lot. A little bit long here. Of course I've covered all of this before, so just to wrap things up. Um, really beautiful sunset. You'll see that in a moment. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one. That beauty. Tune in next time where we talk about country music. The moon, look, it's up there. Wow. Okay, you so know, whoever called it the moon, they, oh they were 100% bang on there. That is the moon. I'm gonna stop you right there. He needs to work on his uh, his on-screen appearance. I need to shower. Some That's people don't. Some people don't work well in front of the camera, right? <laughs> right. Okay. Let's not make it in. That better make it in. All Number right. one camera guy, right here. Call me, bookings are a million dollars an hour. Oh, brother. Not guaranteed to get the finished product. Okay, that's it, that's it.